Sharma took oath as Karnataka Chief Minister this morning, but he is possibly not resting easy yet. The Supreme Court will hear the Congress JDS plea challenging Governor Vajubai Wala's decision to invite Yadurappa to form the government with 104 MLAs in a 224 seat assembly. This hearing will take place tomorrow. In the meanwhile, the political battle is now resonating in Goa and Bihar. In Goa, the Congress will now approach the governor to reconsider her decision nearly 15 months later because they were elected as the single largest party. In Bihar, the RJD will follow suit. Now, while the political fight takes its own course, the final decision on how long BS Yadurappa will continue to be CM rests with the Supreme Court. To speak more on this, I'm joined now by Subhash Kashyap, um, uh, constitutional expert and former Secretary General of the Lok Sabha, uh, KTS Tulsi, a senior advocate in the Supreme Court and Rajya Sabha member from the Congress. and um, amitabh sinha who senior advocate at the supreme court as well and part of the bjp's national executive um, welcome to all of you and thank you for speaking with us i'm going to begin with mr subhash kashyap and the specific question on what we can hope to see in the supreme court tomorrow can the supreme court at any point actually question the logic behind governor wala's decision to invite bs yadurappa I don't think the question of uh, inviting Yadurappa can be validly raised because the governor's discretion is uh, absolute in regard to inviting any anyone uh, to form the government. But the question of 15 days that uh, seems unreasonable. Uh, although there are no written rules about how much time he should give, any governor should give. but uh, it should be reasonable 15 days seems unreasonable i i think the best for the ruling party and for the union government would be to say before the supreme court tomorrow that uh, if they are willing to do so that uh, they are uh, calling a session of the assembly immediately at the earliest possible and uh, hopefully on uh, monday or tuesday itself and that uh, the a uh, motion of confidence will be taken up on monday or tuesday itself and will be decided that will be one way of uh, really uh, disarming the uh, supreme court and the arguments from the opposition side You know um, another question that has been raised uh, over the last few hours in this morning, and I want to come to KTS Tulsi with that question first, is that after that uh, uh, late night hearing in the Supreme Court, why was no decision taken on whether to stay the swearing in? Uh, is that a fair, ac fair accusation coming in from uh, uh, the Congress Party leaders and your alliance partners? Uh, because it is up to the Supreme Court's discretion, and does it really make a difference if eventually Mr. Yadurappa doesn't have the number? That's right I think uh, it would have been better to stay I would like to read two sentences from the judgment of Rameshwar Prasad and uh, that will also answer the question which is raised by Mr Keshab if a political party with support of other political party or other MLA takes claim to form the government and satisfies the governor about the majority to form a stable government the governor cannot refuse the governor cannot refuse formation of government and override the majority claim because of his subjective assessment that majority is cobbled by illegal or unethical means then further next sentence is even more telling no such power is vested with the governor such a power would be against the democratic principles of majority rule the governor is not an autocrat autocratic political ombudsman that answers the question and i i i think that uh, this this may have been placed before the supreme court the question is there is no way out for the governor of karnataka to have ignored the claim and he has no such discretion absolute discretion you know uh, uh, mr keshav has said absolute discretion but supreme court says there is no discretion well, no discretion he is not a, pol a demo a political he is not autocratic political ombudsman 
You know, I want to get. I want discussion. to get. I want to get uh, senior advocate Amitabh Sinha to to to, to uh, give his view on uh, that claim. One side is Rameshwar Prasad, the other side is the Sarkaria Commission. Uh, but it is finally up to the governor. Can you take away from the fact, though, Mr. Amitabh Sinha, that today people are looking back uh, at uh, Governor Wala's political history, and that in itself uh, does very little for the constitutional post. Uh, thank you, Tamanna. Uh, actually, the problem lies here is that uh, the constitution which was made uh, uh, post-independent India, this uh, constitution is one of the bulkiest constitution, but, uh, but some important issues uh, uh, have not been discussed in writing. So there is, a, you know, arrangement of unwritten maxim of the constitution, the provisions are there. So in this pro uh, situation also, the Sarkaria Commission, yes, he has clearly uh, given the line that uh, the majority, the single largest party, at the first uh, the governor has the, uh, the uh, you know decisive uh, powers to take the call. You know, uh, Mr. Tulsi is quoting uh, Ramesh Prasad, the uh, Union of India, which was you know delivered in 2006. Very correct. But this uh, Panchi Commission also, Justice Panchi Commission also has clarified, and Sarkaria Commission also has clarified. That uh, you know, the majority party must be given chance first. They are just shouting and claiming that Goa had happened. They see Goa also. The the uh, the presidents uh, actually played there also, and the governor was waiting uh, for the single largest party to come and so give the claim. But unfortunately, the leaders in, uh, uh, of the Congress party in Goa they were sleeping or doing what they no, nobody knows. Waiting knows. for how long, <laughs> Mr. Sina? Waiting for how long? Is there a fixed uh, time frame? Uh, which has been mentioned anywhere. Tamanna ji, Tamanna ji, just a minute. Let me complete. I will take only half a minute. So, so see, the, all these things are discretionary, and uh, you know the, the the powers the powers of the governor in this house in this situation is with ethics and with his his own conscience. So, and the ultimate thing is you know power is the use use of the ethics and the discretion of governor lies here on the strength on the floor. The floor is sacrosanct. So if if the, the government cannot form the government and cannot get the majority, that government will fall. And See, let, me, let me ask you, let me no, ask you, Mr. Sinha, let me ask you, Mr. Sinha. No, let me ask you, Mr. Sinha, the point, the point in which... In 1996, Sri Atal Vyari Bajpayee formed the government and he cannot, uh, uh, you know, yes. uh, the support and so he, he resigned. Okay. No. Let me let me ask you. Let me let me come back. Let me come back to a moot point of what we will perhaps see in the Supreme Court hearing tomorrow, where the court has asked for the letter that Mr. Yadurappa gave to the governor. Did he in that mention how many MLAs he has? If he said 104, and when the governor had in front of him another letter saying that they have more seats. Does that come in as a factor? Will that be a tricky situation no, for the no. BJP Samanaji, tomorrow? Samanaji, even if the, Mr. Edurappa has written 104, then this is factually correct. He is at present uh, the leader of a single largest party. And he has the right to get the chance to form the government. If he cannot, he will be defeated on the floor. So what is the hurry? If Congress and JDS, they are, they are very clear about their strength, they can prove it that Mr. Edu Dappa doesn't have uh, uh, the capacity to run the government. He doesn't have the, uh, the majority. So that is the problem. They, they have a very clear understanding that when the floor will be uh, will be okay. open. Uh, just a minute, the practical political situation, they, they had uh, uh, formed an unholy alliance. They have fought an election uh, and, uh, and pre-port alliance is not there, the post-port alliance. Which is, which is not appropriate in this situation. So, so many MLAs are ready to even resign because they are not ready to support each other's parties. So, in this situation, uh, Congress is really worried that what okay. will happen at this I will, I will since, since, since you have made a political point, I will allow KTS Tulsi to counter before I go on to my next uh, question. Yes, Mr. Tulsi, at the since end of the day... my political uh, introduction, that's why I have raised this. No, you know, that's uh, full, full disclosure to our viewers. On, full disclosure both, to our viewers. On both points. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, Mr. Tulsi. I'm, I'm sorry. 
I'm sorry, but I do not agree with Mr. Sinha's both the contentions. To say that Sarkaria Commission and this commission or that commission, nothing can override the Supreme Court. The Constitution, as interpreted by the Supreme Court, is binding on every organ of the state. And here, he says there is no such power vested with the governor. Such a power would be against democratic principles of majority rule. The governor is not an autocrat, autocratic political ombudsman. What more do they want? And then in Goa's case, in Goa case, the Supreme Court says that floor test at the earliest removes all ambiguities and gives democratic process credibility. And here, for four days or three days, there is no invite to the claim to the parties, to the combination which claims the support of 116 MLAs. For them, there is no, no, no invitation, although they are the first ones to stake their claim. And to a party which does not have more than 104 and doesn't claim to have more than 104, to that party you give an opportunity and say 15 days for horse trading. What, what, one, what one kind one of one this one thing is? Is, well, you want some I, is, is, is it a stable yeah. of horses? Yeah. One quick, one quick, is it one a quick comment. One quick comment yeah, from Vedant is, is it a stable yeah. of horses? Yeah, I'm sorry, Tulsi Saab. I respect you a lot. You are a senior counsel and I, I have full respect for you. But only one thing. This Rameshwar Shah versus Union in India, that is, uh, you know, uh, uh, Supreme Court judgment agreed. But Bombay case was a constitutional bench of judgment. And in Bombay case also, it was very much clearly, dis uh, uh, you know, clarified. That's an earlier but, judgment. No, it's been considered. Sir, 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 they are sir, interpreting sir, sir. Bombay. I want to come, I want to come, I want to come to another point. I want to come to another point with Subhash Kashyap, uh, which is the latest development. So, so now, the floor, now, floor now, the now the Congress... So, only one point is very important, that okay. floor of the house is uh, sacrosanct. And the floor of the house, if a, a, a party which is single largest party is not ready to uh, able to prove its majority, the, uh, the matter ends. So why this, uh, you know, how? I'll, I'll tell you why. I'll tell you why. And I wish it was so cut and dry. I wish it was so cut and dry and straightforward that, uh, uh, you know, a chief minister is sworn in and then on the floor of the house, every MLA who has signed on another letter, uh, you know, sticks to his guns. The fact is that we have seen time and again what uh, Mr. Tosi refers to as horse trading, uh, dirty tricks. We have horse seen trading? it. We have who seen has it. With Congress? That is the problem. Well, never mind. We don't want to see it anymore. Okay. I just want to come. I want to come to Subhash Kashyap with a very important question. Okay. I want to come to. Let, let me let me ask Mr. Kashyap, please. My question is basically on what is now happening next in Goa and Bihar, where um, 15 months uh, to a year later. The single largest party goes to the governor and says, now you follow the rule book of what Governor Wala is doing. If that's the rule, then let's apply it to Goa and Bihar as well. No. Does that fly? First, first I would like to say that I have no intention of joining issues with my good friend, Mr. Tulsi. But the extract in Rameshwar's judgment that he read, perhaps he missed understanding the words if satisfied that is the governor has to be satisfied if the governor is satisfied then he cannot etc so the emphasis on the word if satisfied and the fact that it has to be governor's satisfaction is uh, being missed that is one second the question of 104 not et cetera, is being cited from the from the please don't interfere in between i did not interfere the figures of 104 Sorry, etc sir. are being cited they are the results of election how many seats were won how many seats were won the 104 seats were won but how many support mm -hmm. Support of how many people uh, the government has will be decided only on the floor of the house for the first time. We do not know what will be the support. Supposing four members of the BJP itself are absent, then the voting has to be between those present and voting. So the support would be 
amongst those who are present and voting, which means that the supporting figure is, is bound to be different from the election result figure. Okay. And that is not to uh, uh, say horse trading and things of, of that kind. So that and the basic principle and the constitutional sanction is for majority question being decided on the floor of the House. Bomai judgment, various commission reports, all have held that it should be only on the floor of the House. Okay, so I want to ask you about Goa and Bihar. If we take today at value the uh, at face value the argument. Goa and that Bihar, yes, yes, I, I am sorry. Yeah, because that's important. Well, if the yeah, governor I'm, is I'm right sorry, to I call the single to largest to party, question. why not? Yes, in yes, Goa I, I'll, I'll do it. Bihar? I'll yes. do it. Yes. Yeah, I understand. I, I, and I understand. In case of Goa, some party called it murder of democracy. The same party is now saying apply uh, the same principle in Karnataka. And those parties which are calling, now calling the governor's decision in Karnataka, murder of democracy, are now also asking Goa to apply the principle uh, adopted in Karnataka. So it is uh, to what limit our politics has uh, come down. My question we, to we you, have, my we have no to faith you, Mr. in anything. Is, no, no, uh, I agree. The, my every question state to you is, is, Mr. Kashyap, every state, can, can uh, yes, as per every law state and constitution, the government Please have the patience to, to listen. Please have the patience to listen. I am replying to you, please have the patience to listen, if you want me to participate in the discussion. Every state is different. Every governor is different, and no governor is bound by the decision of another governor taken in another situation in, a, in another state. Each governor has the discretion, and it is his discretion in his state. Okay. So don't confuse. Okay. Mr. KTS Tulsi, let me... No, yes, yes. But let me just come to Mr. KTS Tulsi with the point that uh, Mr. Kashyap has made, that you are taking the opposite position in Goa. Doesn't it defeat your own argument, sir? Today, if members of uh, the Congress party in Goa go to the governor and say, we are the single largest party, so give us a chance to uh, prove our majority on the floor of the House, doesn't it defeat the argument uh, that you are putting forward in the Supreme Court on Friday? No. Uh, what I want to say is that there should be only one principle for everybody. You can't have that, where I get, where I'm seeing single largest, single largest is the principle. Where I'm third largest, third largest is the principle. You can't change goalposts. The goalposts have been fixed by the Supreme Court. And the Supreme Court says pre-poll alliance, post-poll alliance makes no difference. But the governor will say it makes a difference. Can he act in violation, in defiance of the Supreme Court? The governor is not an autocrat. He cannot, there should be one principle which should apply to all situations. How can it be that for Bihar the situation will be different? The principle will be different. Mr. Tulsi, I agree Goa, with your point different. there, but my question is if there should and be for one Manipur, principle. And for Manipur, it will be the third one. No, I agree, but then there should also be one single argument coming from one side. My question to you is if today the Congress is arguing no, that the, the argument, post poll coalition should be is, called first, then how can you, in the same breath, in Goa, argue that call the single largest party? Isn't there a duality right there? Okay. But, you see, if, if my argument of post-poll was rejected, how can you now ap adopt it? If, the prince, if, if my argument is rejected, then it should I'm be rejected. Sorry, the same, same argument of the other side should also okay. be rejected. I, the question okay, is, let, why, let why can't we have comment. uniformity? Why can't we have yeah. predictability? Okay, M Mr. Sinha, can you come in with that? If that's yes, the case for yes. Karnataka, why not for Goa yes, and for yes. Bihar? I am just trying to give the answers to that from the legal point of view. You, because I have to leave also, I have uh, just uh, say thank you. So, a very quick point. See, all, uh, when I raise this issue of, you know, uh, maximum of unwritten, that is there in every uh, case, every situation, and here also. The, the Bombay case, Bombay case is the constitutional judgment, and this uh, Ramesh Prasad case is in you know, on a normal uh, 